I told you from the beginning I'm going to be open, honest, and yeah. you know, only thing that I ask is really that you just hear me out and yeah, of course. you know, you just you give me a chance to say all that I have to say. Absolutely. I mean, I feel like you got a lot to say, so Yeah, so I'm here. Again, I said there's been a couple red flags that this kind of came out to me and you know, the first the first thing that happened um, was really in our, our group day. I thought the day was going absolutely amazing. And, you know, we fast forward into the evening and basically said that, um, you know, like, you guys are here for me, okay? And you're 100% correct. We are here for you. But, like, you're here for us too. Yeah, like, it's, 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 it's two-sided. And I've sacrificed a lot to be here. I'm yeah. missing out on time with my daughter. Yeah. And every second I'm here, that's one second I've, I've taken away from being with my, my child. Honestly, I get it. My mom yeah. is dying. Yeah. Me, I, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, let go me ahead. continue. I'm sorry. Let me continue. I totally understand. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, I found it really disrespectful. I really did. And it's been bugging me for the past three days. Like, it's been really eating me up. And I, mm. I, I hate that this is the first time I've got to talk to you about it. Yeah. Um, the second thing is, <laughs> I was absolutely appalled at the group date that occurred yesterday. And there's naked guys, you know, doing or playing dodgeball together. It's so humiliating and degrading. And I don't see how that really translates into finding a husband, like who's willing to strip down butt naked and play dodgeball. It mm -hmm. seems very silly and very immature. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of these guys, they're appeasing you. If I had been on that date, I sure as hell wouldn't have crossed that line. Not in a million years would I be caught dead doing that. Mm -hmm. All right? Like, if my daughter saw me doing that, if my family saw me doing that, mm -hmm. like, think of the thought that they would have. Think of, think, of, mm -hmm. think of the example that would be setting. That's why you were not on that date. Well, I'm glad I wasn't. Yeah. I'm seriously glad I wasn't. I was so appalled. A completely classless display. Mm -hmm. I expected a lot more from the oldest bachelorette that's ever been. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't believe, I can't believe that that actually occurred. That's not the type of example I want set for my daughter. You're not setting the right example for my daughter. Like, I feel like I even have to explain now, I'm a, so, I, like, I'm ashamed to be associated with you. I can't believe I sacrificed so much to be here just to watch this, this distasteful and classless display. I'm, I'm serious, like, so appalled. Going back to our first date, I feel like you, like, really overreacted. And honestly, it sounded a little crazy. It sounded like, why? Like, what how? sounded crazy? So, what about me saying that I want guys who are here for me and not trying to grow out with each other and want to get to know me? I'm looking for a husband. I'm looking Claire, for someone Claire, to hold love, on, don't, like, hold love on. me. I'm hold looking on, for Claire, some. I've listened to you no, 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 this no. entire no, time. No, stop. Do not stop me. Don't, I've listened to you this entire me. time. Like, seriously, I asked I've you, listened to you I for the last you, 20 I'm, minutes. And I'm not done yet. I asked you. You know please. what? You are done. Let me tell you something. The way you're talking to me right now, never. In a million years, Claire, listen to me. Claire, listen hey, to me. No. Never in a million no. years did I ever think I would have to utter these words again. Do not ever talk to me like that. I never thought I'd ever have to tell any man that I would never want them being the father of my child. And I stand by that. I would never want my children having a father like you. Get out of here. Claire, listen hey. to me. Oh, are you serious? Bro, hey, believe, Get believe out of that here. you're not fit to be a mother to my child. That ain't right. Man. Get out of here. Claire, is everything all right? You okay? <laughs> You're completely classless, Claire. Are Class. you serious? Bro, yo, calm down You're over there, man. You gotta chill out, dude. Bro, I expected way more from the oldest bachelorette oh. in history. Bro, Bro what are you gone, talking no. about? Go home. <laughs> Remember, you're almost 40. Take your ass home, bro. Are you kidding me? Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Hey, she's all yours, boys. All right, bet. Bro, I'm, I'm like, so I'm, heated I'm, right I'm now. Try, I'm trying try not to like. This is exactly yeah. what I was talking about the other day. This is exactly what I was talking about the other day. Disrespectful as hell. This is just what he does. 
talking to a woman like that, I don't care what was done. I don't care what I've done. I didn't even do anything to that man. there and say you're the oldest bachelorette. Guess what? I'm the oldest bachelorette that's 39 that's standing here that's single because I didn't settle for men like that.